This will just be a quick video. I just wanted to check whether this DeepSeq R1 free version can actually follow the instruction of our directory prompt right here. Suppose we want to prompt this complex instruction to create instant directory and we want to create it for free. So this DeepSeq R1 just released four days ago by the time this video is being filmed. Now, as you can see here, I'm trying to build 100 directories this 2025 and we are in the seventh directory. So the last one that we created was this churches Australia that directory. So it's live at the moment and I'm planning to build all types of church here. For now, we have uploaded Catholic churches, but we will upload other types of churches such as Baptist Church, Evangelist Church, so those type of churches, we will be updating this. And in this example, I just want to see whether we can create a directory, a decent team directory for this public toilets that we have right here. So I'm going to use this prompt with this Dipsic R1 free version. So we're going to open our local copy. So you will be able to edit your local files just by downloading this local WP. So just search on Google this application right here local wp and you'll be able to download this and you can set up multiple wordpress in your local environment to be able to use this prompt because this can be used via vibe, vibe coding so if you are gonna open this in vs code so you just need to click this and here is our file for the public toilets australia and let's go to root code right here and we're gonna take a copy of this entire prompt so i'm gonna copy this and paste that to a blank notepad just like that we need to configure this based on the type of directory that we are creating so i'm just going to quickly fill this up folder name will be so i'm just going to name it as public toilets team and then the model that i will be using so the site title i'll just grab the hiring title of the website right here and it custom post key so i'll just reuse whatever i use because this is an existing directory so all these listings right here is using this public dash toilet as the custom post type now the taxonomy will be categorized by state team name i'm just taking the copy of this one and remove the year score now the google category will just be public toilet so depends on your listings and the country will be australia color palettes you can go to this website it's called coolers and you can start generating your color palettes so if you don't want the first one generated so just press the space on your keyboard so I think we're going to try this. So I'm just going to quickly copy the hexacode of these five color palettes. All right, that's done. That's all the configuration that you need. So in case your listings already uploaded and you are just creating a new team, you don't need these custom fields. So you can remove this and we can also scroll down and remove the last part that asking the AI model to create a ACF fields. So we don't need that because our directory is existing. We just want a new team. So I'm ready to copy this and let's prompt this to VS code here in Klein. Make sure you are using the DeepSeq R1 free. So let's search that. So that's that version DeepSeq R10528 free. I'm going to select that. And once you're using the correct model, just paste our prompt right there and let's go. And guys, as you can see right here, our directory has been completed by DeepSeq R1 in Klein. And you see here, we only spent zero dollars, so nothing. And let's observe the files first. So this is going to be our new team right here. So what I'm going to do, I will create a new folder called assets and I'll just copy the sets that we have in the previous team. So I'm just going to copy everything. All right. So that we will have our hero section as well as the logo. Now let's go to the WordPress dashboard and let's activate this team. All right. So hopefully this free version DeepSeek will provide us a decent team appearance. So let's go to teams and so this is our new team right here, public toilets, DeepSeek R1 free. So I'm going to activate this and let's see if it's going to have a decent look. All right. So that's how it looks. It's not full screen, but it's actually looking pretty decent for a $0 cost of this model right here. And I'm going to have to see if this is going to work. And there you go. Wow. The stake is actually working, this one right here. And let's check some of the listings. Oh, they're actually displaying pretty well. For $0 Dipsic R1, this is actually a good one. So let's have a look at one of the listing. All right, so this is how it looks. It looks pretty decent. There are just some, I think, missing info, but that's fine, that can be fixed. So it has the correct hierarchy of the breadcrumbs right here. So this is how it lists the state level directory, state level listing of the toilet. So there are some padding issue, but we can fix that, that's fine. And this is how it lists E by state. So let's grab one example that has multiple listing in one state. All right. All right. So here in South Australia, this one Adelaide. So there's two listing in Adelaide because 
These are just sample of listings. We didn't upload all the directory listings of public toilets because this is in our logo. So these are just two listings that we can browse so that we can test the team. Let me check this. For zero dollar, it's pretty well. It, it is decent. So you can write code whichever things that you want to change. Suppose you want this to be in full and weeb. So you can just go back to client right here using this similar deep seek. So you can see you'll just spend zero dollar and you can write code here the area that you need to change. Let's say, for example, you want this to be full width and here in this state level listing, you want some paddings because as you can see, it's touching the edge. So you can fix that pretty easy. And here in the actual listing, so you can also ask to adjust that in and will just cost you zero dollar. So if you want a full tutorial, full process on how you can create your own directory, the link is in the description below. So you can have a look and uh, do that. So I think uh, that's all I can share in this video and hope you get some insights. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. See you in the next one.